VGP stands for Vertical Glide Path Mode. VGP is a VNAV sub-mode that enables pilots to use the FMS to fly stabilized approaches. As a review, VNAV stands for Vertical Navigation and is a function that enables the flight crew to input climb or descent commands into the FMS to compute the aircraft's vertical trajectory. VPath is a sub-mode of VNAV. VPath creates a vertical descent path to a waypoint by calculating a top of descent point. This process results in a constant descent angle from the top of descent point to the active waypoint altitude constraint, also known as the bottom of descent. VPath uses FMS position data and barometric altitude to determine the position of the aircraft in relation to the vertical descent path. VPath mode respects the altitude in the altitude preselector, meaning it will not allow the aircraft to descend below the altitude set in the altitude preselector. VGP is similar to VPath mode, but with one important difference. Unlike VPath mode, VGP mode disregards the altitude set in the altitude preselector. This allows the pilot to continue a descent with the altitude preselector set to the missed approach altitude, similar to the way an ILS glide slope mode behaves. VGP mode is used to fly RNAV approaches to LNAV VNAV approach minimums. VGP mode cannot be used to fly localizer based approaches such as ILS and LDA. VGP uses an FMS calculated position and barometric altitude to construct a glide path for the final approach segment of a non-precision approach. This glide path is linear in nature, meaning the sensitivity of the vertical deviations do not increase as the aircraft approaches the runway. To explain further, on an approach using linear deviation, a one-dot deviation can equal 75 feet at the final approach fix and 75 feet at the runway. Let's look at an example of an approach using the VGP mode. First, select the runway on the Arrival tab. Next, select the appropriate RNAV approach and approach transition. Select Insert to insert the changes into the pending flight plan. Review the changes and select Activate to load the approach into the active flight plan. When ATC clears the aircraft for approach and the final approach fix is the active waypoint, the VGP mode can be armed by pushing the Approach button on the guidance panel. In order to arm the VGP mode, the following criteria must be met. The FMS must be the selected nav mode. An RNAV approach procedure is selected in the FMS. The approach waypoints or altitudes have not been modified. A published final descent angle exists for the selected approach. The distance to the airport must be less than 30 nautical miles and the approach button on the guidance panel must be pushed. When VGP mode is armed, VGP is shown in white on the PFD and deviations are shown using a cyan vertical deviation pointer. When VGP mode is armed concurrently with the altitude select mode, ALVG is displayed in the armed field of the PFD. When ALVG is armed, the selected altitude or VGP will be captured, whichever occurs first. If VGP is captured first, altitude select mode will be cancelled and the altitude preselector will be ignored. If the altitude is captured first, VGP mode remains armed and will capture the vertical glide path when appropriate. When VGP mode is active, the following occurs. VGP is shown in green on the vertical mode field and vertical deviations are displayed using a magenta deviation pointer. The aircraft ignores the altitude preselector, enabling the flight crew to set the missed approach altitude. When the aircraft arrives at the minimum approach altitude and the visual requirements for landing are satisfied, the crew must either land the aircraft or initiate a missed approach. 
When using VGP mode, it is important to remember a few things. As the aircraft reaches the minimum altitude for the approach, the flight guidance will continue to fly the aircraft to the runway. However, minimum use height of the autopilot still applies, and the pilot must disconnect the autopilot at the appropriate altitude. Performing a vertical direct two is not allowed when VGP mode is active because this may change the descent angle. The LNAV course must be captured for the VGP mode to capture the glide path. The VGP mode is also used to fly RNAV approaches with LPV minimums. However, when LPV is active, the VGP mode behaves a little differently. When LPV is active, the FMS no longer provides lateral and vertical guidance for the approach. Instead, the lateral and vertical guidance are provided directly by the SBAS capable GPS. The active vertical mode, however, remains enunciated as VGP. Similar to an ILS, when LPV is active on an approach, course deviations are angular instead of linear, meaning the sensitivity of the deviations are increased as the aircraft approaches the runway. To explain further, on an approach using angular deviation, a one-dot deviation can be equal to approximately 180 feet at the final approach fix, but only 18 feet at minimums. For more information on RNAV approaches with LPV minimums, refer to your aircraft pilot manual. This video is a basic demonstration of the VGP mode. Be sure to refer to your aircraft pilot manual for more detailed information.